Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Steven. This is my wife, Lauren. And we are S and L. And you're watching Thriving Thursday. Thursday. Cue the music. Everywhere I go, fighting for the Lord. I'm knocking down the foes. It's a daily walk until there ain't no sin in me. Roundhouse and demons, I'm fighting off the enemy. It's a daily walk. This is where I stand. Spitting holy lyrics. I hope y'all understand. It's a daily walk. But don't be absurd. I know he's coming back for me. He told me in his word. It is a daily walk. It's a daily walk. It's a holy daily walk. All right, hey, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed our new intro. Spent a little bit of time on that and had a little fun with it, too. So, yeah, there's a new intro. You just haven't seen it yet. Editing, it works. Anyways, <laughs> hey, we just want to welcome you guys back for another week of Thriving Thursday. Thank you so much for taking time to check us out. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the like. If you enjoy what you're seeing, share with others because the things that we're putting out, we're trying to make sure that we are pouring ourselves out and sharing our experiences to um, hopefully benefit you out there that are watching, whoever it may be, young, old, um, middle-aged, uh, what else? I don't know, you're rambling. I am, but I'm enjoying myself. You're born a rambling man, the song. I don't know that okay. one. Okay, hey, <laughs> but it is Thriving Thursday. That's why you're here, that's why we're here, and that's why you're watching. So, without further ado, there is a topic that we wanted to discuss, just briefly, just want to give a little something. Um, we know because of COVID-19, the coronavirus, um, there are lots of us that are sheltering in place, um, those that have been infected that are quarantined, uh, and in the course, uh, for the state of Texas, our governor, Greg Abbott, has actually issued a uh, shelter in place order. So um, we're doing just that. Our kids are out of public school. The public school is closed. Um, I, mean, I, I was taking college classes. Uh, my classes have been um, converted to 100% online for now. But what's the point? And um, we're trying to <laughs> you know, figure out how to do life under one roof the entire day um, for the past three weeks. So, you know, trying to stay healthy and follow the guidance so that um, we stay healthy, but then also trying to figure out what we can do um, with our kids. Uh, we've got a lot of schoolwork from the, from the school on how to do stuff online. And as they kicked out their system off this past week, we found out there's a, a lot of issues. You know, internet's been going in and out because there's a lot more people on the internet right now. Um, you know, the software that they're using, the apps they're using, uh, have gone in and out because once again a lot of uh, schools uh, school districts around the world um, are actually using uh, these different software so the whole point of me saying all these things is uh, is coming to a point and that is um, we want to try and give you guys some ideas for self-care to do inside the home you know you can call them life hacks or whatever you want to call them but <laughs> really it's just some some things that you can do to kind of continue self-care now I'll make sure that I uh, attach a video or put in uh, the hyperlink at the end of the video or you can click on and watch um, what we did a previous season. We actually talked about some self-care ideas. Um, we're going to do some self-care. We'll talk to you guys about some self-care. Maybe share some self-care ideas. Um, how do you know when you're in need of some self-care? And what is self-care, right? I mean, you kind of wonder, y'all just throwing that term around like we already know what you're talking about. And I'm, I'm like, hey, do we? <laughs> do they? I mean, I know what I'm talking about. Do they know what we're talking about? And no, I just, what would you, how would you define self care? Pouring back, having, being poured back into. So you're able to pour out. I was listening to a podcast and I think it was by Rachel Hollis. And she talked about like, especially like moms. I mean, this can go for anyone, but like moms, how, if you picture like a, a vase, a vase, whatever you want to call it, if something is being poured into it and then we're like, as a mom, you're like, oh, I need to share this good stuff with my kids or my husband or everyone else. So you start um, tipping over. If you tip too far down you'll, in your glass, you'll break. But if you stand up straight and you let yourself be poured into, it will overflow and spread to others anyway. So taking care of yourself so you don't break. Um, but quite a few of those um, relied on you being able to get out of the house. So what we're gonna talk to you about today, given our current situation, is some self-care ideas that you can do right in your own home um, and yes, you do have to be really creative with the timing because 
not everybody's the same, not all families are the same, so maybe trying to find nap times or bedtimes when you're able to do stuff. Right now, my mother-in-law, my wife's mom, is sitting down with the kids watching a TV show so we can do this for y'all. Hey, so what is some things that what are some things that you have done for self-care since we've been doing the shelter in place or since we've been um, home with the kids? Not enough. That's why I realized I was getting short with you because you were doing your self-care and I wasn't able to do mine, especially for the first, I don't know, week, I think. It was like, um, I just went into mode of, oh, school, oh, and then doing the you know regular day things of like cooking and whatever else. So I wasn't doing a very good job at first. Now, taking breaks, taking baths, I don't know, taking a walk around the block, keeping six feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we... But um, I don't know, just doing some th fun things in the yard, but like sometimes just going and listening to a podcast or reading on my own, locking myself in the closet. Or... I, I have caught her in the closet a few different times. <laughs> because I because can't even go to the bathroom in peace. Get... Yes. <laughs> They're like, mommy, mommy. Yeah. So. Even if I'm right there, yes. And the first week, I also I had gained a pound because I don't know stress or whatever. So just being more intentional about eating, eating better, eating well. Like I yes. have been doing better. Can I say something about that one? What about the eating better? Okay. Okay. So that one, I, I like what she said about eating better because that is important. Sometimes we forget some of the things that affect our bodies and how they affect our bodies. So it's important to pay attention to what you eat and how you feel. You know, within the next twenty-four to forty-eight hours after you've eaten, because that is going to affect your body. And if you're not having a good digestive tract, you know, I'm not trying to get too gross on some folks, oh you know, gosh. your GI. Um, go ahead. <laughs> we realize that we feel very lethargic within you know, what within the, like the next day or so, right? You usually, yeah. feel pretty lethargic. But it's not like as if we've been eating fast food now. I think it's just like running out of time to to make sure you're making sure you're eating vegetables, even though we have picky children. <laughs> or like today, making sure you eat, period. Because today, I completely, ask, I just, I forgot to eat lunch. Completely forgot. I started getting <laughs> a headache and it started to turn into a migraine. I came in into our room, closed, I told my wife, I said, hey, I need to do, uh, I need to take a break. Came into our room, uh, put on uh, one of the meditations and really, I just relaxed and, and turned the lights out and put on meditation. That's why I'm wearing my yeah. dark lenses again. I still have them for my, my headaches and migraines. What else? Yeah, that's why the, the lenses are dark today. The Meditating, praying. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the one I, I use. Abide, A B I D E. I saw this. I was trying to find it, but I couldn't find it. There was this thing a lot. Um, there was this little. I think I saved it. Let me see. But while she looks for that, I was telling you about abide. So abide, uh, I, they're not paying us anything. Hey, abide, if you want to reach out to us and pay us some stuff, <laughs> we will yeah. take the money. Okay. Um, they're not paying us anything for this. Uh, it's just a free resource okay. that, that we're sharing. You That's can okay. pay for the subscription, but they offer a free one that I use. She's got the paid one, and you get more options with that. Anyways, the whole purpose is it does guided meditation using um, uh, from a Christian, Judeo-Christian point of view, using scripture, and also presenting like a positive message. And they usually have like alpha um, music or sound waves. I like the little guitar player what, in the background. Yeah. There's different, you know, water, whatever kind of things you like. There's also a, an app called Headspace. Yeah, Headspace. I found the, um, the thing that I was talking about. Yeah, Department of Defense has several apps out there for all our military folks. A free app for you to do um, assess self-assessments. You can also use, um, what's it called? It also does uh, PTSD. Thing. That one for, for PTSD, one for CBTI. There's an app called My Strength. My that Strength. It's good for mental health. It's I think it's a free app. Especially yes. if you struggle, maybe you don't always struggle with, but if you ever struggle with like anxiety or depression or just feeling down, they have some good little uh, things on there. Some people have been able to like working out at home a little bit. Yeah. We've just been walking mainly, but like we have um, someone from the church that I've worked with before for uh, physical training, um, Marin. 
He, yeah. Di- Divine Design, I think it's called. Divine now. Design, all right. So. Well, hey, y'all heard her. Yeah, check out Marissa. Yeah. He can get you set up with a personalized workout. And he can do a lot of stuff just like with stuff you might have at home. So that's one way to do where you could just do, I don't know. Yeah, so Marissa, make sure you drop us a <laughs> little check in the <laughs> mail. <laughs> no, I was going to say I'm a <laughs> link. Put your link <laughs> down I'm here. Playing, I'm playing. Put your link. Unless if I you want to pay us, I'm playing. <laughs> we can find your link. I'll put it <laughs> down. Um, but the... The thing that I was talking about was I saw this online. She's going to read something to Daily quarantine questions to kind of help you set, set you up, I guess, in a good mental space. Well, um, just today, like, what am I grateful for today? Mm. Who am I checking in on or connecting with today? Um, what expectations of normal am I letting go of today? How am I getting outside today? How am I moving my body today? What beauty am I either creating, cultivating, or inviting in today? So I just thought that was kind of just good because you know moving your body and kind of getting some type of exercise or movement like we do dance parties with our kids that's another yeah. thing we like to do um they have like a go noodle app that they yeah. even use at go school. noodle is free um again you can pay for stuff <laughs> but we use a free part of it and so you don't get all the choices of what song selections you get but it's free and then youtube right we yeah have, we youtube <laughs> we turn to youtube and what we do is I, we pre-screen the songs and stuff like that we look up yeah. like just dance or sometimes uh, on they YouTube. have like kids bop much my feet yeah or know, kids bop yeah better. we do one <laughs> of the two yeah we usually have like a combination or we have our own music too that we yeah. play but anyway that's just something to kind of get those endorphins going and Get some physical energy, especially when there's not good weather um, and you can't get outside. Or if you're in a space where you live in an area like an apartment complex or something where part of the quarantine, you really just can't get outside because of where you live. Um, By the way, the healthcare community, um, check your your local state government, local um, and state government websites and even some of the federal ones and see what opportunities they have out there for healthcare because a lot of um, healthcare providers, uh, we're talking about maybe even mental health, uh, we talk about that in some of our other videos, but mental health care providers are now offering um, teleconferences or video conferencing using like Zoom or a secured medical. But there, there's another app where they can secure the information and um, that allows you to still uh, seek medical treatment if you have um, mental health or any kind of extra oh. needs that you need to take care of. Or you know what, you're dealing with a lot of stress being stuck in a house um, or apartment, whatever, wherever you live. And so just being able to interact with someone else Remember the technology that we have available to us. I think it's, it was my talk is a counseling, digital counseling app or something like that. Is yeah, it my talk? It, it might be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know there's it, several I, of them out there. There was way too them. many for me to, to, to really number. Remember to take those breaks or, you know, take you, breaks. As a mom, maybe other moms can really feel like you got to do everything and now your kids are home and you're like, ah, kind of throwing things off, but just also asking because even though you think 12 years in, I would know that you don't know. How to read my mind i still think he he knows that i need a break i've been doing this but you don't know yeah that, that's true i, I don't you Unless, should know t- i feel you like you me. should know <laughs> that sounds like a stuck point um <laughs> but anyway but yeah so, it, it's this, you're right I, I don't know but when you tell me i, I try to be very considerate and, yeah. and, and understand that you need that break make sure you give yourself a time limit too because just staying gone for like three hours may not be as helpful even if you need that break um, so, you know, try to be considerate of the other people um, that are in your home as well. So I think that's maybe another tidbit, you know, yeah. hey, I just, I need five minutes. If you know it's something, if I, you just need a step away. We have like a garden tub that we let them splish and splash and then put their bathing suits on and goggles. That sounds like you're bragging. <laughs> have them dress up in their bathing suits and go in whatever tub you have, but they like to go in that tub because more of them can fit. Yeah, so uh, they have, um, it's like for like stress and, and okay. anxiety, they have like these calming coloring books. They're very intricate, very detailed designs. I feel like we're getting And too so much. you can you can color different things if you just need something to do with your hands, you know, get yourself a box of crayons on Amazon or something since you can't really go out. Oh, a lot um, of board games. We've been doing yes, a lot of board we, games. Yes, we stocked up on, so we actually added some additional board mm-hmm. games. Um, Even the little ones could, like I bought ones that the little kids can do that they really like. So. Yes. Um, to keep it age appropriate because we have but also teaching them three numbers. four seven and eight so if they can play uno and goldfish yeah because sometimes <laughs> we do we also try to break take the time out to break up like the the kids and, and do something separate like this morning me and my wife were working with our older two kids that are in mm. public school Excuse me. and 
we were taking that time to work with them individually. So my wife worked with our oldest son, I worked with our second oldest, and we were just working through, um, getting them through some of their schoolwork. Okay. So yeah, said we use a timer. Um, we got a little timer from Amazon again. Amazon, if y'all want to pay us for these uh, drops, we, 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 <laughs> man, we dropping yeah, all kinds of names a, for today. What but kind of timer, what is it called? I'm not sure, but it has a, it has a light on it, which is why we like it. So you, it's kind of like an egg timer. You where two you timers. Set two yeah. timers. Uh, one, uh, it's a red light, yellow light, green light. So it gives them, um, a green light so they have whatever time to work on whatever it is or when it's play time and you can or, set a timer for time. like 10 minutes and then five minutes so they have that warning yeah and chan like transition of time because that's really important for our kids and trying to kind of set up some schedule just like yeah some kind of normalcy while we're while we're in this, this and then uh, also state. trying to give your, your like give ourselves some grace and the kids grace because you know they're stressed they don't quite understand why they can't see their friends you know yeah. we try to tell them they don't get it like why can't we go now it seems like that's okay because it's like not something you can see and they just don't overall kind of get it oh what you okay. got i was just gonna say if you have any idea any ideas that we haven't mentioned that um you can put down for them to share any idea any ideas with any, everyone else at the bottom yes yeah please do <laughs> please share that in the comments so that, i mean because we're, we're we like to, to get some ideas We've seen some stuff on like Pinterest and things and Facebook yeah. that we hadn't thought of before. I thought that was fun. Um, uh, the Potter South North Dallas had a the youth uh, pastor had a challenge out to all the ministers, uh, all the leaders, the servant leaders to to uh, do a little vi fun video uh, yeah. about washing your hands, make a song up to that. So I thought that was pretty cool, you know, doing something fun. And will. music time, we do music time too. Yeah. Besides just having the dance and stuff, Stephen plays guitar and we. Do you have a drum? And even when we don't have a drum, we made instruments. We have to, yeah, and we have to find nice. ways to that be creative kind of, and keep them busy. That Go is ahead. kind of the nice thing, I think. Spending more time together in that exactly. way has been nicer. Like, even though we have technology, we try to limit that. And I think it's also good because um, sometimes, like you said, there is problems with that. But just, you know, just to be kids and use their imagination or whatever. One of the things that I do want to also mention is, like, for us, like, with your relationships, um, you know, times to be intimate and things like that. You want to make sure that, you know, you're, you're safeguarding time. And that's why I started off saying you got to be creative because we don't know your situation <laughs> or the sense. type of people of you are. Um, you just have to be creative, um, you know, nap okay. times, bedtimes. You're being really awkward. <laughs> no, I'm not being awkward. I'm saying like you have to be creative in order to have time to spend together, intimate you know, time. like. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully after this, y'all <laughs> teachers out there get a raise because I'm not going to lie. I don't have a problem playing a little bit more in my taxes to make sure that you teachers get paid. Uh, I think I think just a quality amount of income. That, that's it's necessary. Yeah. You're paying I mean, out I guess I always supplies. kind of thought that before. But even yeah, now, we always we'll try see. to do a little extra for the teachers for our kids. But I mean, you know, we're also trying to finish up our last little bit of debt so we can really live and give like no one else and, and be able to do more for our community. So. Uh -huh. You know, with that being said, I think we've rambled on long enough. We want to check uh, uh, check the comments for anything you guys have to share because we're looking for creativity ideas while we're also sheltering in place. Creative date nights and things to do to keep your sanity. Yes, please. Share what you got. Um, we shared what we have. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Thriving Thursday. This is SNL signing off now. Transform and roll out. Bye. Damn. No, no. I hurt my neck. <laughs>